Now, Eric, you mentioned the uh, the JavaScript here and, and the coding. So if I'm a developer, <laughs> right. uh, what do I need to be proficient in to use the SDK? Well, if you're a web developer, mm -hmm. you would expect some JavaScript libraries, right? Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what the SDK is all about. And uh, <clears throat> if you want to implement things like WebRTC, you can go, I mean, it's standardized, it's open standard, so you can read the W3 specs and mm -hmm. uh, all the Google documentation. You have to implement like 100 primitives or something like that. Okay. If you take our SDK, it's an abstraction of all that. And we have the, uh, we host in the server, we host all the uh, signaling and all the, uh, uh, I mean, <clears throat> to make it simple, the box is able to appoint people to people, right? So mm -hmm. that's the, the purpose of the SDK. So it's not only client side, but it's also on the server side in the cloud, we host that for you. So you don't have to develop, um, you don't have to develop the whole infrastructure. You can stitch together some open source and open, crack open some VMs at uh, Amazon, for example, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and do it this way. But then rapidly you will think, oh yeah, how do I authenticate my users? And then how do I encrypt the conversations? How do I do when the <coughs> when there is an interruption in the call, if the call drops, or how do I recover? Mm -hmm. What do I do if I want to call transfer to uh, uh, from video to voice, or even video to uh, telephony, right? So mm -hmm. because we, we can also enable that for you, right? So no, no agent is av available on the app. The fallback is the traditional call center with a phone number. Mm -hmm. You can call that call center, call center with the phone number that uh, you have your main entry line. Or you can call the agent at home if he's at home, right? Or she's at home. 